was an awkward masturbation incident in my hotel recently. There's no way to warm you guys into this. <laughs> I'm not gonna do segues. I'll just throw the topic out there and off we I was just hanging out in my hotel room. I'm watching, I'm watching a hockey game and the menu came up on the hotel TV without me touching the remote and it just scrolled down to the adult pay-per-view. Scrolled through, I didn't, I wanted to watch a hockey game. I wasn't touching nothing. I went back up to the hockey game. The TV went back down. To the, it felt like my television was trying to suggest things to me. Like my TV was just going, dude, it's four in the afternoon. You don't have to work for five hours. How about a little you time? But I did not want any me time. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to watch the hockey game. So I went back up to the hockey game. TV goes back down to the adult stuff. I couldn't figure out what was up until I returned to the hockey game and I heard a man screaming in the next room. <laughs> Through the wall, I just heard some dude yelling out, Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> That's when I realized that my remote control and his remote control <laughs> are on the same frequency. <laughs> and we're changing each other's televisions through the wall. <laughs> so whereas I want to watch a hockey game, clearly in the next room, I've got some naked, lubed up, sexually frustrated guy <laughs> who desperately wants to deal with his demons. And he feels like his television is talking back to him. <laughs> he feels like his TV is going, dude, you've been here for three days. I've seen you masturbate 11 times. <laughs> Why don't you take a break from yourself and watch the end of this hockey game? <laughs> He's not giving in, and now that I know what's going on, I just started kind of playing with him a little bit. <laughs> through the wall, you know, for my own entertainment. I'd let him get down into the movies and just as the porno would start, bam, back to the hockey game. <laughs> but then I had to think. I had to think and I realized I'm not gonna win. You know, a laid back guy who wants to watch a sporting event is not gonna be victorious over a pervy guy next door. So I had two choices. I figured I could go for a walk. Or, I could wait and see what he picked. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I did not feel like going for a walk. <laughs> so I decided to hand over control and I waited the selection from next door. So off he went into the menu. I heard a little cheer through the wall. He goes in, all the classics are there, the busted babes and the wood in the hood and the everybody loves Jenna, all that stuff. And there was one that I quite liked. I'd never heard of it before. It was called Roller Girls Who Are Angry at Their Dads. <laughs> and it piqued my interest a little bit. I was disappointed when he passed it up. <laughs> so much so, I couldn't help but grab my remote control <laughs> and click back up the menu just to suggest to him that he was missing a beat. In the end, he knew what he wanted, right? This guy went to the depths of the adult menu. He selected a film called Harry Milch's 14, which, <laughs> my sentiments exactly. <laughs> I was disgusted with him. And 10 minutes later, I was disgusted with myself. <laughs> Oh, God. Embarrassed for me. I did what I could to recover my pride, and I decided at this point, maybe it's time to go for a walk. <laughs> so I exited my room, and upon passing his door, I couldn't help but yell. I was like, dude, you got really poor taste in porn. <laughs> 
and he answered the door, and that's how I met the other comedian that I was working with for the weekend. <laughs> Two stories.